Hello, it's Sarah, and in this video I'm going to prep, or I've already prepped the wood. This is just the piece that my husband cut for me that's going to fit this little rooster project that I'm so excited to do. This is Barbara Nielsen, the rooster on an easel recipe box plus three farm eggs. So I'm going to be doing this on this plaque. So one of the first things you have to do is to trace her design onto tracing paper, and I've already done that. Most of the lines. I'm not, <laughs> um, I guess I should probably be tracing all of the lines because it is nice to be able to have ready to go when if you feel like you missed something. No worries. The next thing I need to do is get this pattern onto the wood. So I'm going to use the blue Sorel paper for that. Um, I ordered it. It comes in kind of like a saran wrap box like this where you just roll it out and I cut myself off a couple pieces. So this is the one I have this one. This is you can see some of the uh, daisies on here that I when I did my be kind piece. So I have a couple of these pieces that I'm going to use and I'm going to use a fine tip stylus so just this very small tip stylus you can use a ballpoint pen or pencil and the first thing I'm going to do because I realized when I was looking at this I'll come in a little bit closer I've centered it on the heart so I put this cut out of the heart where it belongs lined up the bottom but it seems to be over a little and this is just me I'm gonna come I'm gonna do this part, then I'm going to move it and put it back over. So th I think this is all I'm going to do on camera. Just show you how I get that down onto the paper, onto the project. So I just simply, I've taped it down with some washi tape to the piece so that it doesn't move. I've also done this without taping it down, but you have to hold it and be cute. See how I just did that? It would have moved it. Take a piece of the, of the blue Sorel, make sure it's the dark side down and just slip it under there so that it's where um, I'm going to be putting my lines. And I just start gently. Um, Barbara did tell me I could be a little more, give a little more pressure. We will erase this before ink, before painting. After the ink sets up, after I ink everything and it's all dry, we will erase with a vinyl eraser. And I don't know if this is a true vinyl eraser. It's a polymer eraser. That's what it's called, but it, it works. So this will erase these blue lines. So I think I was on, see? I was on the bow. Sometimes I put all the lines and sometimes I don't because I'm, I'm not afraid to freehand it and that way I have less to um, erase. So make sure that you do what you're comfortable with. Now I also want to get her tracing out because when I'm tracing, when I trace this in pencil I did not do every single line like every branch on these trees I did not trace that. I, I did a few and so it's really for me, I, I didn't do every detail on the birdhouses. I will put the main lines on there and then I'll freehand it. Like I'll look at this and I'll just do it. That's how I'm going to do it. But in reality, you could trace every single line that Barbara has provided you with in her. Um, I guess this would be called her, it's the design. You know, this is her design. Oh, she did this in 2000. There's double zeros there. 23 years ago. Wow. I just love it so much. So, um, continuing around with this ribbon that's wrapped around the wreath. It's going to be so fun to paint this. I still have two angels to paint. 
I've got them all inked, but I haven't painted them yet. Two more pieces of ribbon. And then for the wreath, I'll show you. So she's got very kind of, it's just choppy lines, like to kind of represent branches or even greenery, you know? So I did the same thing when I traced it. I didn't go crazy being perfect. And I'm just putting a hint of a line where the wreath, the shape, so that I get the shape right. Because that's important to me. I don't want it to look wonky. You know, and I mean, you could take the time to trace all of her, um, it's, it's her inking, her pen work. A little bit here. And I think that's all. I think I'm going to leave you with that. But you can see, let me come in. A very nice indication of, and then I will come, I'll come back and I'll show you how I'm going to ink that. Um, but I'm going to go off camera and get the rest of it on here. Let me come up and I'll show you. So, like I said, I thought that it was a little off-center, so I'm going to lift this up and retape it. I'm going to make sure the bottom, I want to really make sure everything is straight this way. The, the ground line and these check lines. And that this, each new, um, welcome each new day, that both sides are equal. That is looking better. I don't know why, but for some reason, the heart is off center now. But this looks better. So I am going to go ahead and stick it. Make sure. Yeah, that looks real nice. Now, here's what I'm going to do to get those straight lines straight. I'm going to use a ruler. Where's my little ruler? I think I had it out here already. Just take Hopefully my head isn't in the shot. I'm going to do it with a pen when I, when I go over it. I may use a ruler, but I don't want to mash my pen down too hard. I may freehand it. I don't know. Uh, you know, I'm not going to worry about the fence because it's a fence. It's a piece of wood. Um, so let's see what that looks like. So I have straight lines there. I'm going to go ahead and just start working my way up. I might freehand these lines. Alright, so there's a little bit of bushes. And I am making a very loose, I traced, my pencil line has a lot more bumpleys but I'm not putting all the bumpleys. I'm just getting it on there, so. And it's very uh, light. I didn't even push hard. What else? All right, so for the fence. I'm giving it a little more pressure. There's a little dip here, and I like it. tops of these bits of wood are kind of bumpily. I like that word, bumpily. See, there's even like a little turn there. It's because these are natural. They're post fence posts that the farmer probably made. 
that he chopped. I don't know. All right, so you get the idea. This is what I'm going to be looking at when I start inking, and I'm basically going to recreate this onto that board. All right, so I'm going to come back when it's all dry and I'm ready to do washes and I think I'll try and do a little bit of this piece with you guys. Alright, so that's it. Thanks for watching.